I love a good road trip, especially when the destination is unknown, but you just know it will be epic. Good morning. As I mentioned in last week's video, I am heading north. I'm currently in Utah, just outside of Cedar City, and I'm on my way to pick up my trailer. with my trailer. I've got it all hitched up and I am back on the road. I didn't show any of that because I'm kind of on a time schedule. I am meeting up with somebody tomorrow so I don't have a whole lot of time during this road trip for stopping. Uh, so I'm going to show a lot of shots from the road and then I think I'm going to do a little update for you a little bit later. stop at uh, Walmart for a grocery haul. Got a lot more than I was expecting to get, but that's good because I don't think that the area I'm going to is going to have a lot of options for shopping. I've made it to camp and I am absolutely pooped. <laughs> I cannot wait to sleep in my beautiful, comfy own bed tonight. I'm so excited. I've been thinking about it all day long because it's amazing. That brings me to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. What is RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding? RVMattress.com is a Brooklyn bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus they have a factory in Arizona and ship conveniently to you for free anywhere in the US. They offer different firmness options, heights and dimensions, even RV specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. When searching for a new RV mattress, I personally needed it to fit my travel trailer, but I also needed it to be comfortable. Based on this, I got the Signature Hybrid in the Short Queen with a medium firmness. I've had my RV mattress for four months now and I absolutely love it. I cannot believe how comfortable it is, especially in comparison to the old factory mattress I had. It's super important on these long days of traveling, long days of driving, to have a comfortable place to come back to and sleep at night, to get rest, to do it all over again the next day. And that's why it's extremely important for me to have a great mattress. With your RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding Mattress, you get a 120 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty. RVmattress.com delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the US. Plus it comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. 
best part about all of this is that Brooklyn Bedding has their own factory in Arizona. This means they're able to use premium materials at a reasonable price for you with no middleman bringing up the cost. I love my RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and I think you will too. Click that link below to get one of your own. If you're looking for a new bed, check out RVMattress.com. You can click the link below or go to RVMattress.com slash Catherine and get 25% off your mattress with code Catherine to help support the channel. Good morning. I'm back on the road. I uh, left camp at about six o'clock this morning. I don't feel like I'm doing a very good job of documenting my time at camp, but I'm on a time schedule, as I mentioned, and it's difficult to take the time to film at camp when you're trying to get back on the road. Last night, I just got my trailer cleaned up. It had been sitting for about three weeks. I went on that trip to Yellowstone where I went backpacking and then I went to California to do some family stuff. So it was kind of a mess. I unpacked, I took a shower and just went to bed after that. I wanted to talk a little bit about my plans for the summer. As most of you know, I don't usually make plans, but I did have a plan for this summer. I'd originally planned to go to Denali to Alaska. Unfortunately, since the rules with the permits have changed and you now need a permit to film if you intend on monetizing your videos, I went ahead and canceled those plans. I didn't want to jump through all the hoops that were necessary to obtain the permit and uh, it just didn't seem like it was worth it to spend all that money going up there when I couldn't even document it the way that I wanted to. So now I'm just kind of winging it <laughs> as usual, which is really my preferred method of travel. I really do hope to make it to Alaska. I've never been there and I do want to go. I want to do it right though. So I probably need some more time planning if I want to go ahead and obtain a permit or just visit places that don't require a permit but uh, it's definitely on my list of places that I must see at some point. In terms of where I'm going right now, I'm winging it with that as well. Uh, I'm heading to Montana, I'm meeting up with a friend, and the plans are open at that point. There's been some discussion of potentially heading up to Canada, which would be fantastic. I haven't been there since 2019, and I only spent four days up there. Uh, I was up in Banff and Jasper, and it was definitely not enough time to explore those areas. I had an unexpected family emergency and had to rush back home to California, so that would be fantastic. Uh, there's also some talk of potentially doing some backpacking in the Bob Marshall Wilderness, so it could go any direction, maybe Glacier National Park. I'm just excited. Uh, to have more adventures on the horizon. There'll be some backpacking, some camping. It's gonna be fantastic. One relaxing day at camp before getting packed up to head to the next exciting destination.